Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to take a look to uh, modeling of quadratic equation, if you want to call it. And I, I call it here finding the vertex form. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look to this problem. Sometimes you're going to get uh, a picture like this or a statement where two points are given and you're going to be asked to find the equation of that quadratic. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want you to notice here, this is what is called the vertex, right? So we're going to start from the vertex form, which is a times x minus h squared plus k. Very good to remember this. And don't forget, it's a minus h. And, <coughs> and the point a, which is the vertex, right? Is what? The coordinates negative 1 and negative 3. This guy, right? Negative 1, negative 3. So basically, this is h, this is k. So we're going to have what? y equals a, keep that a, x, my, x minus negative 1 squared plus negative 3. So we're going to simplify this guy a little bit. So we're going to have a, x plus 1 squared minus 3. And this equation here shows us a family of parabola, all of them going through this vertex of negative 1, negative 3. But we're looking for the one that goes through this point B, right? Which has the coordinates 0 and negative 1. In fact, that's the y-intercept. Which means what? 0 and negative 1. It means nothing less than when x is 0, y is negative 1. So that's the things we're going to plug in this uh, vertex form. So again, negative 1, that is y, equals a, we're going to see we're going to have an equation in a, x is 0 plus 1 squared minus 3. So what do we get here? Negative 1 equals 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1. So we get only a here, right, minus 3. In order to find a, we're going to add 3 on both sides, and we get a equals 2. So the final answer for our problem is going to be y equals 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 3. Go ahead and try this problem. This is the final answer for number two. If you have this answer, you did a wonderful job. All right, let's take a look to this one. This is another very really interesting one. This is an upside down parabola. So we should expect to get a negative A, right? That's the only time when we have an upside down parabola. But other than that, we're gonna start this, we're gonna do the same thing. A times x minus h squared plus k. Okay. So let's take a look. How much is h? h is 1, right? Because that is the x coordinate of the vertex. How much is k? That is 5. Okay, and then again, we have this point here, which has the coordinate 0 and 3. 
So again, we're going to plot 3 for y, 0 for x, and we're going to go from there, right? Uh, 3 equals 8 times negative 1 squared plus 5. So 3 equals 8, right? Negative 1 squared is 1 plus 5. We subtract to uh, 5. We subtract 5. And we get negative 2. Like I said, we should expect that because it's an upside down parabola. The final form will be y equals negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 5. And that's it. Go ahead and pause this video clip and try this one. If you end up with this equation for number 4, then you did a wonderful job. Let's take a look to number 5. The same story, right? y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, right? And we're going to have what? y equals a times x. And again, how much is h? That 4, right? Of x squared of the vertex. Plus, how much is k? The 5, the y coordinate of the vertex. And now we're going to use again this point, which is again 0 and negative 3, the y inverse. So, what do we get here? Negative 3 equals 0, not 0, a, 0 minus 4 squared plus 5. Negative 3 equals a times negative. 4 squared plus 5. So negative 3 equals 16a plus 5. Subtracting 5 on both sides, you're going to give us negative 8 equals 16a. Divide by 16, we're going to get negative 8 over 16 or negative 1 half. Now we can write the equation, right? y equals negative 1 half. Uh, x minus 4 squared plus 5. That is the answer for this uh, problem number 5. And the last problem in this presentation, you are going to do it, problem number 6.
If you have this sensor for number six, then you did a wonderful job. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button. Now, right, and come back and subscribe for more Mac video clips. Thank you.